today I just wanted to make this video because it's something I was feeling on my heart mainly because I felt this feeling a lot myself I feel like there's a lot of people out there that feel ugly that feel like they're not enough that feel like they can never please someone as good as someone else they feel inadequate they feel like there's no possible way that they can change how unworthy they are and I pretty much want to say that I understand that feeling of unworthiness I kind of wanted to tell a story and at the same time give some advice when I think about the first time I ever felt like I was ugly would be in school. I was ugly to people for a multitude of reasons. They'll just say I'm unattractive in general. They'll call me weird. They'll call me all kinds of things. I would always overhear conversations about how attractive some girl I liked found somebody else back in school. I will always hear about how she liked this type of boy. How she would talk about what qualities she finds attractive about him and different things like that. I felt below like I felt like I've always had to meet somebody's standards I always felt like I wasn't good enough and I knew I could never be that person that she wanted so I feel like a lot of people feel like they can never reach the standards that either someone or society itself has set either for beauty worthiness or any type of thing where we want to pursue it but we feel like we're completely inadequate you just can't be good enough that's what you told yourself and every time somebody tells you no you are good enough you know you're special it's something you just don't believe you believe that the person is just telling you that because they know you're insecure about it so once you're kind of aware this person is just trying to comfort you it actually makes you feel worse because it's almost like it doesn't feel sincere because it's like it's something that you just believe about yourself now it's not something you could just really shake off and say you know what I am attractive or you know what I am worthy it doesn't change in a day. I can sit here and say you're a beautiful person. No matter how hard life gets, you're always going to be enough and it can still make you feel like, well, I'm not enough for what I want. A lot of times we feel like we need to settle for something lower because we feel like we can't claim anything better than that. I feel like we just need to change our concept of beauty because I believe that we are basing our concept of beauty off of someone else and is it our fault I would say yes and no it's our fault for allowing ourselves to get tied up with this type of belief that we have to meet somebody else's standards to allow ourselves to fall into that that would be our fault but at the same time it's pretty much forced onto us by society when you see people in Hollywood receiving all this praise I've always felt weird standing next to someone receiving praise not because of jealousy but because of the type of feeling where it's like man I want to be appreciated I wouldn't want to be that person but I will want the attention that that person is receiving I couldn't see myself like attractive and stuff so there's oftentimes a lot of people out there that need reassurance because they don't feel like that they're enough society has pretty much made it hard for us to be confident in who we are whether that's by appearance whether that's by our abilities just any qualities that we have they made it difficult to see ourselves valuable because of how they treat people that they find valuable most of society is comparison let's say this I get out on the field with a bunch of professional soccer players but I've never practiced playing soccer if I get out on the field with a bunch of soccer players and I'm inexperienced they're going to perform better not because I'm worse because they took the time to practice they took the time to exercise the skills that they have and that's why when they get out on the field they perform that is better than I would perform because I don't put the same energy into it as they do there's some people that take it like this this person is better at a sport than me so this person is better than me we make it where this person has this quality that means that they are better than I am the person isn't better than you the person may be able to please somebody but you can't compare it to the way that you please someone every individual has a different effect on people if I end up with a girl and she says that I'm pretty obviously she finds me pretty for her own reasons I would know I'm not the first guy she said was pretty because she could have been with people before me and called them the same thing so when we think too far into it their words start to become meaningless because we're comparing what they call us to what they may have called somebody else but what they may have called somebody else could have been for different reasons and also you don't know if it still holds true to that person it could have been how they felt in a moment and then all of a sudden things change feelings constantly change I had one ex that I was with 
and I was pretty much content before I was dating her. I was content. After I started dating her, I got insecure because she wasn't exactly the most loyal person. She went with other guys while still being with me. Other guys, which means more than one. So it left me feeling inadequate because I felt like I wasn't able to be enough for her. I wasn't able to please her. I wasn't able to pretty much satisfy her like all those other guys could. But if you really think about it, those other guys couldn't satisfy her either, if that's the case, because she still went with me. It was a back and forth type deal. It wasn't me that couldn't satisfy her, but it was her that couldn't satisfy herself. There was a void there, and she thought by going with certain people, they can fill that void. Whatever she felt she was lacking, whether it's affection, whether it's this and that and the other. She thought she can find that in somebody else. It's something that you will have to heal within. Whatever you feel like you're lacking, whether that's happiness, that happiness cannot be rooted in somebody else. It will have to be rooted within you. And usually, happiness is already within you. It's just buried underneath all kinds of other negative emotions that makes it hard for you to see it. So it was something that she had to fix within herself and it had nothing to really do with me. And I put too much on myself. It made me feel like I was inadequate and it made me feel like I was ugly and it made me feel that it made me feel like I couldn't be man enough for her in a way and I feel like there's a whole misconception about what it means to be a man and a woman and especially when society twists it around and make you have to feel like you have to fit a certain stereotype to feel manly or ladylike there's a stereotype behind a lot of those things and each individual is different I could be a man and have my own personality in my own unique way and still be masculine as a woman can still be a woman and have her own unique personality and have her own unique ways and still be feminine. We just have to really change the way we see beauty and how we perceive it. We shouldn't focus more so on comparing ourselves body-wise to another person's body because if we do that, we're gonna make ourselves feel more miserable because we will never have the other person's body. The body only matters to somebody that you're willing to be with forever. If you think about it like this, everybody has a body and everybody has their own unique shapes and forms. But your body will only mean something to the person that sees value in you and you personally. That person that sees value in you won't want any of those other bodies out there but yours. And yours will always be more than enough, more than any other body because of that spirit, because of that personality that is within that body. And that's what makes the body that much more special. Like I would never raise somebody into thinking that you have to be this way or that way in order to be pleasing, in order to be attractive. We're conditioned to think that we we have to be a certain way, that we have to have this, that we have to have a big this or a small this or whatever, whatever to fit an image that is pretty much distorted on what beauty actually is. Like we had distorted beauty left and right, but we forgot that true beauty is within. And I know that sounds kind of cliche, but it is. True beauty is within us and it shows on the outside of us. It's that plain and simple. And I had to make this video to kind of vent because I was kind of feeling inadequate. I'm not going to lie. I was feeling inadequate recently and I know a lot of other people struggle to keep the confident mentality or the mentality that they mean enough because you really do mean enough. You do. So just try to keep your mind healthy and make sure you know that you do mean a lot. I also wanna add an extra note. If you're single right now and you still don't really feel good even after watching this video, I suggest this. Look for ways to try to cope with yourself. Look for ways to kind of make yourself feel good. Do something you enjoy and distract yourself from those negative thoughts. Spend less time comparing yourself to others and more time getting in tune with yourself is what I would say. And maybe then it will kind of over time as you just try to get in tune with yourself, your energy, and you really just start really loving time with yourself, then that would kind of lift that self-esteem a bit. So sometimes you just got to make the focus you and not in a selfish way, but in a way where it's like in an uplifting way. Just spend time with yourself and make sure you hang around people that treat you beautiful. At least some of your problems will go away. If you don't have any friends or you're at least struggling to make a genuine one, don't base your worth off of how many friends you have around you. If you don't have any friends, if you feel like you don't relate to anybody, trust me, you're not the only one out there that feels like that. Either do what I'm doing, express yourself, you will find somebody that feels the same way you do, or try to study something about yourself. Pretty much self-reflect on yourself a lot. Find what's missing within you. When I'm alone, I study 
myself. You know, I self-reflect. I figure out what's missing in me and what I really want. It helps me get a better idea of who I am as a person because sometimes feelings can be complex and you can't quite understand them. So I take the time to try to understand my feelings and then I also take the time to try to explain my feelings. So for all of you that are struggling out there with that or if you're feeling lonely or unloved or anything, take the time to figure out why and dive into the root of that pain or that loneliness or that emptiness that you feel inside. But anyway, I really hope all you have a nice day and I think all of you are beautiful in your own unique ways and very special as well. I really hope you people enjoyed the video and found it helpful. I love you all. God bless you all. Bye. This makes me sad.